Good job, Audi. Wider than a regular A6. A little bomb. What is that little chin? More bombs. There we go. Oh, bump here. Air suspension, bump there. That's pretty crazy. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and L. My name is Max, and today, well, we've got a car I guess a lot of you have been waiting for for a long time. It is the all new Audi RS6 C8. And well, it is truly one of the most anticipated cars of this year and rightly so because the RS6 is the ultimate daily driver performance car. So uh, they have some big shoes to fill at Audi RS because the C7, the previous RS6, is a bit of a legend. Super popular car, has sold a lot, I think. So yeah, big shoes to fill. Today, I'm going to show you around this car, show you the spec we've got it in, then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast, because that's what this car is made for. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive updates when we upload a new video, so you won't miss any of these RS6 videos. Okay, I want to start by saying thank you to Exotic Rent NL. They have very kindly given us this car on a Saturday. It's the 21st of December, so it's almost Christmas. So thank you for this early Christmas present. Go check them out on Instagram, Exotic Rent NL. You can rent this car with them and they have an Audi R8. The VW Golf TCR we drove also came from them. So go give them a follow. It's actually starting to rain. So I have to be a little bit quick. We're going to start with the most important stuff. And if it's okay weather-wise, I'll do another lap. So most importantly, this front end, this is, well, good job, Audi. Good job. It looks so aggressive. It is so mean and there are a couple of reasons for that. Number one being those headlights. These are the headlights from an RS7. They're not the headlights from an A6, which means that they are a lot more aggressive. They're a, li a little bit more angry. Another reason for that aggressive front end is this bonnet. As you can see, it goes down slightly. That is because this front bumper is actually five centimeters further to the front than in a regular a6 and that's because they had to fit that v8 in here it's also for pedestrian safety but because that bonnet slopes down so aggressively and you have that air intake right there it's just so aggressive because that that massive grill is a lot lower than in a regular a6 so compared to an a6 only the roof, the front doors and the tailgate are the same. The rest is new. That's pretty crazy. Uh, we've got the optional 22 inch wheels and we have Audi ceramic brakes, carbon ceramic brakes. These are actually the brakes that were developed for the Audi RS Q8. So they function really, really well on this car. Uh, this car weighs two tons, so I would recommend getting these carbon ceramic brakes. Especially because this car also has the Dynamic Package Plus, which means that the top speed is 305. If you go for the Dynamic Package, you get 280 km an hour top speed and as standard 250. At the rear we've got... Well, no. I'm, I'm skipping two very important parts. Okay, so this is a thing that Audi has done right, that BMW has done wrong. That's this and this so track is wider at the front and at the rear four centimeters per corner so eight centimeters in total it is wider than a regular a6 and that means that you've got these wide arches to fit those wheels in front and back you can see that this actually goes into the door that wide hip very very good job i think the new bmw m5 doesn't look aggressive enough it doesn't look muscular enough and this does i mean looks so cool another cool thing is that this car has the black diffuser trim when audi presented the first pictures and they released the first pictures of the new audi rs6 it had this this silver line this part was silver and everyone was like what is that? What is that little chin that is surrounding those massive exhausts? Well, this is it and it, it looks much better in black. You can also go for carbon fiber, uh, which is also pretty cool. 
as I said massive exhaust pipes tail pipes with a valve in there as you can see the sound though it's it's not super impressive it is nice it's a nice v8 rumble but it's not like crazy the sound that is from this four liter v8 by turbo higher boost pressure than before and it now delivers 600 horsepower and 800 newton meters which is a lot uh, it also has 48 volt mild hybrid technology so that means that the start stop system and the alternator and stuff like that is all on the hybrid system which means that the start stop system actually engages before you come to a standstill so it rolls out and it can actually disconnect the engine the gearbox completely so you can coast all to save fuel of course now you guys can rate the exterior of this I'll start at the best part yeah you guys can rate the exterior in the top right corner from one to five let us know what you think and you can use the comment section to tell us why you have voted the way you have voted okay so the rain is actually picking up a little bit let's get in so let's close the door because it is really raining now so the interior what is different compared to a regular a6 well of course we've got the rs seats uh, which are pretty good I would say nice and comfy seating position i'm not sure about that yet i haven't found my like perfect position yet uh, but that may come with time so we've got this trim basically a little bit of fake carbon fiber or not fake carbon fiber it's made to look like carbon fiber dark gray trim with piano black a lot of aluminium and alcantara on the gear lever and the steering wheel this steering wheel is actually really nice it's has a flat bottom uh, alcantara as i said aluminium paddles so that's very good uh space in the rear is also pretty good actually just wanted to mention that since this is the supercar family car basically so we'll start it up and before we take off i just want to let you know this is one of our latest watches it's called the lausanne and it actually has an automatic movement it is well a nice classy watch i would say it has an eta movement so it is good quality it's swiss made and uh, limited to 30 pieces and every piece is numbered individually so if you're interested in this gorgeous watch go check it out in our store in the top right corner so a few cute things we've got in here um, in the infotainment that's different than a regular a6 we've got of course the drive select but we now have an RS mode so we've got RS1 and RS2 I guess they took a good look at the new M5 uh, so you can configure this drive system like efficient balance dynamic suspension steering engine sound and the quattro with sport differential because we actually have the sport differential it is at the rear it also has a torsion differential in the center and that means that it can send up to 85 percent to the rear and up to 75 percent to the front as standard it's a 40 60 split front rear but that sport differential also means that you get torque vectoring and in most cases a torque vectoring differential breaks the inner wheel which means that your turn-in is better and you have less understeer but with this differential it actually overspeeds the outer wheel meaning you're pushed inside towards the apex of the corner which is pretty cool and um, so this is all configurable you can also go for rs2 and for some reason in this setting you can turn the esc in sport mode i don't know why you can't do that in rs1 and we also have an rs monitor so i don't know why that's not working was working before so you've got a tire pressure monitor and this i think is pretty cool we've got temperatures so engine oil coolant sport differential gear oil and brake discs and you have these colors and you can see that the engine is warm coolant is warm the brakes are a little bit cold the differential is warm and we have a g-meter but this is pretty cool right those temperatures i really like that uh, we've also got some new dials so this is pretty standard but when we go to rs mode 
we'll go to RS2. You can hear the exhaust valve opening. We've got this weird, I hope you guys can see that, this weird rev counter that goes up and then to the right. I've got the same one in my head up display. I hope you guys can see that. Don't know how, like that. Which for the head up display, this is a really good rev counter because it is very clear where the red line is. But for this one, I would have preferred just a regular one, a round one. I think because now I have both have the same thing so I don't know would have been cooler if that would have been around I'll get this one going for you guys so you can see the ref counter actually moving and here we go so we've got an 8-speed automatic gearbox which works well And since we are in RS mode, you can actually hear that exhaust rumbling away a little bit. Um, it's been a long time since I've driven a stock RS6 C7 with a stock exhaust, so I don't really remember how that sounded. But for a stock car, I think this sounds pretty good. And of course, all the exhaust manufacturers are all bringing out their exhaust like a Krapovich and Miltech, whatever. You have enough choice to make the sound a little bit more exciting. So launch control, uh, just put it in RS2, gearbox in sport, foot on the brake, full throttle, launch control activated. Whoa, a little bit of wheel spin, there we go, whoa. And that was zero to 100. So Audi says it will do 3.6 seconds from 0 to 100. I actually managed to do a 3.47 like an hour ago and it was damp. So that is insane. Insane. This car weighs more than 2000 kilos and it will do 3.47 seconds to 100 on a damp road. I mean, respect. Top speed, as I said, We've got that Dynamic Plus, so 305 kilometers an hour limited. Now. Downshifts. You've got a little rumble on the downshift as well. Gearbox is very quick. I actually don't miss the S-Tronic or anything like that, you know, it's this is perfectly fine and it's really comfortable. And that is, of course, one of the most important things about the RS6. I mean, it all doesn't matter if it's not the best all-rounder. They can do whatever they want with the new RS6, but it has to be able to quiet down and cover a lot of distance and for that we've got air suspension on this car which I believe is actually standard in a lot of countries they do have a regular uh, steel spring coilover damper sa setup but this has air suspension and if you put this car in comfort it is ridiculously comfortable I'll just put my RS1 Yes, I'll put the suspension in comfortable and the rest is all in dynamic as you can see. So that's my Autobahn setting from now on. I'll go to RS, I already was an RS1, RS2, no, RS1, this is it. So we've got the air suspension which is super comfortable, but there's also a new suspension they are introducing on the RS6 which is called DRC and it is a more conventional damper setup but all corners are linked with hydraulic fluid and that means that they can actually prop up the outer wheels suspension to make it go through a corner flat which is really smart I think we saw a similar system on the new A8 so here we go, as you can see, it is a little bit wet, it's not that wet, but this lane, this left lane, has good drainage, so it's not that wet on this lane, and you can actually 
go pretty fast here. We've got good tires, tire pressures are okay. So we should be able to do a nice run here since it is completely empty, well, almost empty. So that suspension is seriously comfortable. Um, the car is super level, super nice to drive. That's 300 kilometers an hour. I mean, how easy is that? The car really doesn't break a sweat. It's This is what it likes to do. And also what I like to do, as you probably know by now. Yeah, man, it is a very Im impressive car, but there's just something missing and... It's a little bit of excitement, it's connection with the car. Yes, it is super comfortable, little bump. I mean, the car will just solve everything for you. More bumps, bump here, air suspension, bump there, 285. But you don't really feel connected to the car and that's a shame because the car will go into a corner at like crazy speeds and it will stay flat and it will turn in and they've done an incredible job setting it up because it, it handles really good. It's just that you don't feel the fact that it handles really good. And the sound is a bit, uh, it's okay, but I would definitely go for an exhaust. It's just not that exciting. And it, I mean, it's all relative, of course, if you compare it to this, whatever this is in front of me, of course, then it's exciting, but comparing it to an E63 S wagon or a BMW M5, both those cars have more like more of an edge more drama this is very dramaless and i'm guessing that they've done that on purpose and i know this doesn't really match with what i said at the beginning that this is a daily driver supercar because that means that this is all very good and it is but it could have been a little bit more exciting it's an incredibly well-built car it's it's very very good it's just not that exciting. So that is my review of the all new Audi RS6. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button right here. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you at the next one. Bye guys.